With all the theories, rumours and news surrounding Bioware's upcoming Mass Effect title Mass Effect Andromeda, we here at Mass Effect Odyssey thought it would be interesting to take a look at the setting of the game. No theories, just the facts. So here we go. The Andromeda Galaxy, also known as NGC224 or M31, is our closest galactic partner at a distance of 2.5 million light years from Earth. Thanks to commenter Seastrider for keeping us right on this one. Andromeda is named after a princess from the Greek mythology, the daughter of Cassiopeia who boasted that her daughter Andromeda was the most beautiful woman in the world, which led to Poseidon, under the influence of Hades, summoning a sea monster to kill Andromeda who was chained to a rock as a sacrifice. She was however rescued by Perseus, the demigod son of Zeus. The Andromeda Galaxy can be seen as part of the Andromeda constellation. It's one of the brightest objects in the night sky and can be seen with the naked eye on a moonless night, but it's commonly seen as a blur or a really bright star. Andromeda itself is approximately 220,000 light years across, compared to the Milky Way's diameter of 150 to 180,000 light years across and also contains around 1 trillion stars, compared to the Milky Way's estimated 200 to 400 billion stars. It is now thought the Andromeda Galaxy is producing stars at a much slower rate to the Milky Way, at approximately a rate of 1 solar mass per year, compared to the Milky Way's 3 to 5 solar masses per year. This suggests that the Andromeda Galaxy has already gone through its rapid expansion phase. The centre of the galaxy is believed to be much cooler and consists of older, larger stars as seen by the smooth look and the purple colouring of the spectrum, whereas the arms of the spiral sparkle due to the formation of young, smaller and hotter stars. This is most likely due to the fact that the materials needed for star formation are found in the outer arms and this is very similar to the composition of the Milky Way. The dust ring that surrounds the galaxy is sometimes nicknamed the Ring of Fire by scientists, which we think is pretty endearing considering the song choice for the Mass of Andromeda trailer. The images coming from the NASA satellites showing the galaxy in different spectrums make it so easy to see why they call the dust ring the Ring of Fire. It should also be noted that Andromeda is also orbited by smaller galaxies containing colder, older stars, for example galaxy M32. It is believed that the Andromeda galaxy has formed through various collisions with smaller galaxies, consuming them, forming a galaxy of its size today. It is also known that Andromeda is set to collide with the Milky Way in around 3.75 billion years, and they are currently moving towards each other at a speed of 75 miles per second. The various collisions may explain the wide-ranging ages of stars in the Andromeda galaxy. The Milky Way is believed to be around 13.2 billion years old, as this correlates to the ages of its oldest stars. However, the stars in the Andromeda Galaxy range from around 6 to 14 billion years of age, with the current galaxy being thought to be around only 9 billion years old. In 2009, the first extragalactic planet was discovered in the Andromeda Galaxy, which was thought to be around 6 to 7 times bigger than Jupiter, however due to distance away from the Milky Way, more extragalactic planets are much more difficult to find, but with the development in imaging technology, more discoveries are bound to be on the horizon. If the Milky Way is normal, the Andromeda Galaxy will have at least 10% of its planets being in the habitable zone, and considering how much bigger the Andromeda Galaxy is, the possibilities are endless. From what little we know of the Andromeda Galaxy, it doesn't differ too much from the Milky Way. Both galaxies are, however, vastly unexplored, so there's so much unknown. What makes Andromeda really interesting is through its various collisions, there might be so much materials that make up worlds and stars that are so different from the Milky Way. And who knows what will happen when these great forces eventually collide to form what scientists are nicknaming Milkameda, Milky Meta, or what I think is probably the best of the alternatives, Andromeda's Way. So we hope you enjoyed this video looking at some science behind the games we love so much. Do you have any better ideas for what you think this new super galaxy should be called? Let us know in the comments below. As always, you can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all things Mass Effect, and you can help the channel to grow by sharing the video too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again very soon.